Bog football back again with another video and it's lunchtime. You know what that means? It's five players Celtic need to sell. Did this on my own channel with Rangers, but here on Folk Football, we cover every team, brother, and that includes the champions. The team, they've already kind of already done their January transfer business, so in terms of five players Celtic need to buy, I don't think that Fed will need to be done. But we're here as five players that we've selected that we feel Celtic would be better off getting rid of, or potentially maybe out on a wee loan. But coming in at numero uno, I think everyone expected this guy to be on the list, it is. Ida Gucci, he's played one game since he came in now. Whether he leaves on a loan or he leaves apparently, I think most Celtic fans would probably rather it be permanent. And that's no offence to Ida Gucci, I just don't feel like the guy's got a future. Like, you can't be at a club for this long, play one game, and no expect to do anything. Now, unless, unless you sign Messi and then he plays one game and then he picks up a, a year a year long injury or something. Then, right, maybe, right, that's fair enough, that's messy. This is Ida Gucci, and Ida Gucci is a wee bit pishy. And that's the bottom line. I think he'll be leaving Lennox Town, I think he'll be leaving Selic, and I think he'll be going back to the J League. Coming in next, maybe a surprise, and it is that man, the World Cup star, Yusuf Juranovic. Yeah, returned to Celtic, played in the old firm, thought he was absolutely horrendous. I think he was actually the worst player on the pitch. And that is some saying, considering there was a lot of shite that came onto the pitch and was already on the pitch. But I think Celtic, if they get offered 15 million or 20 million, I, mean, I think realistically we're looking at like a 15 million fee here. I thought he'd have been away already, personally. I thought there'd been a lot more rumours. It felt like the rumours were kind of just at the World Cup, like during it. Now we're at like, you know, we're like a week into January and there's just not, it's kind of cooled down all the talk. But Yusuf Juranovic, I mean, with Atletico, with Barca, with everyone else, I mean, with Chelsea, Man United, you look now, it looks like absolutely hee-haw is happening in terms of a Yusuf Juranovic move. Do I think he'll still move? Personally, yeah. And I feel like the money is just too good for Celtic to turn down. They've got Ralston, they've brought in Alistair Johnson, who was pretty really good in the old firm. Like, for a debutant match in the old firm, I thought he was really good. He was oh, fuck it. I mean, he, he looked like the £20 million player, not Yusuf Juranovic. And that is praise for wee Alistair, even if he is moaning about the, the VAR decisions, man. The VAR decisions, for fuck's sake, man. We Alistair, you know what I mean, eh? What's that all about? What's that all about? Then a wee Canadian impersonation there that The Rock used to do in Test back in 2001, brother. Back in WWE. <laughs> but anyway, that's Joseph Juranovic. I feel Celtic probably should sell the guy. Coming in next, and the deaf and chutley should be getting rid of this guy. It's James McCarthy. They literally just signed him because he was Irish, man. That, that is the only reason for this guy. Injury-prone Premier League midfielder who's been done for about eight years. And he's not even that old. <laughs> like it. Wait, is he like 33, 32 or something? But he's literally been done for years, man. Years. Like, I can't remember when he went to Crystal Palace, but he was done at Palace. And he was done for the last few years at Everton. So I don't know why Celtic even signed him. It's time to cut ties with this guy and just get rid of him. There's no real reason to keep him. Your midfield's stacked. You've got fucking... He's like, he's the worst player they've got in the midfield. Easily. Without a doubt, he's the worst player they've got in the midfield. Coming up next, we're moving to the position that nobody can really get into unless your name's Joe Hart. I, I mean, I was kind of thinking between this guy and Seagurst, but I rate Seagurst, right? I think Seagurst, it was kind of stupid going to Celtic. Yeah, you're getting a lot of money. Yeah, you're playing for Celtic, but you knew you were, you were going to get very limited game time and I bet you see Gerst is hoping Joe Hart gets injured but for Scott Bain he's been there a number of years now he's just not good enough he, he, he's shite if we're being honest third choice you've no what, what games is Scott Bain going to play he's going to play no games that, that that's the answer no games now whether this be permanently or alone that's up for Celtic fans to decide personally it would be permanent per permanent permanently for me the guy's got no future at Celtic he's done and they've got Connor Hazard who's out on loan at Helsinki so I feel like you get rid of him, you get rid of Bane, and you've got, you know, you've your cemented number one, which is Hart, you've your good number two, then you've your young and upcoming goalie, Connor Hazard, who I thought in the early days of Ange last season wasn't actually too bad. If I'm being honest, but with Scott Bane, man, where did he come from? Dundee? I just, it's just a weird, just a weird player, man. He's, he's small, he just looks like a bit of a tool, and he's pish, and he just lets goals in for fun. I don't even know why he's there. It's like, like you look at Rangers and like their goalie situation 
It's kind of similar because you have McGregor, who's the number one, but he's done. You have McLaughlin, right? Seagrass is better than McLaughlin, in my opinion. McLaughlin, who has he really been worse though than McGregor this season? And he got job done. Then you have McCrory. I think McCrory is better than Scott Bain, but I mean, we don't get the time to see him shine. And coming in last, guys, on this list is Giorgio. We Giorgio. Giorgio. Ah, my gosh. Uh, this guy uh, linked with a £6 million move to Midgetland yesterday. And I feel like with Celtic, they may as well get rid of him because they can get rid of him and just bring someone else in, you know. And the guy seems unsettled. He seems a bit, not spook, but he just seems a bit, yeah, like unsettled. And that's going to affect them in the long term. You can kind of see things turning, not nasty, but... He put the wee time emoji up a few weeks ago and he just keeps on coming off the bench. Now, if Celtic picked up an injury to Furuhashi, uh, Furuhashi and got rid of this guy, then you can maybe argue they've got issues. But then again, they could just play Abada, Maida through the middle. You know, they could play fucking T Matt O'Reilly, false nine. It wouldn't really matter. I think if you get rid of them, though, they get a decent fee. Because, I mean, how much did they sign him for? Like three, three and a half million or something? I mean, they'd be making... We make money back on we GMAC. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. That is five players that Celtic need to sell. And aye, that's Fog Fitba. Till next time. Peace.